This is where it means the zombies meet. The next fighter we're going to rank on Boxing Bros is Terrence Bud Crawford. All right? And we're going to start this off with Ned. How do you rank Terrence Crawford's power? I rate his power 95, man. Ter Crawford's last five fights all ended in KO. Do you know, can you, do you know the, the, the people he knocked out? Cavalasquez, Khan. Benavidez, Horn, and Dongo, and then uh, <laughs> Felix Diaz. Come on, man. It's, oh, and then it's homework. Work, man. Yeah, but yeah nah. Out. Even though he didn't look too good against Cavalier. Watch your mouth, G. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he went and did his home. He went and checked box rec for this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah man, I'm on point. Hey, man, I respect it, man. <laughs> is that I check box, right? On that too, G? His, his on there. Keep going, keep going. Let's, let's, see, <laughs> let's see what you're talking about. Mm. All right, so you gave him a 95? Yeah, 95 for his power. All right. Trill, what you give him? Oh, who? Power, Terrence Crawford. TC? TC, I gave TC. Uh, 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 Terrence Crawford, 36 and 0, 27 KOs. The WBO champion, I gave him uh, a ninety. You know what I'm saying? I gave I gave I gave TC a ninety. Look, I started following. Let me explain. This. I started following TC after his fight with uh, Prescott. You know what I'm saying? That was 17 fights ago. I'm old. I'm getting old. You know what I'm saying? That was 17 fights ago, and I said the kid was special. Then. Um, he went on to beat, I believe, uh, uh, Ricky Burns. For the 140 title, the WBA title, and then you know he defended it against Gamboa, Ray Beltran, Thomas Delome, Lunday, and and until he had the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to go against Victor Postel and become undisputed. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot of respect for TC. And that was back in was what was that back in 2016? But yeah, I got a lot of respect for him. Yeah, I like TC, but uh, I don't think that his best attribute is his power. I think about the ways I've seen people knock Amir Khan out, Danny Garcia, um, Canelo Alvarez, the way I've seen Marcos Madina hurt him, and I see how Amir Khan took TC shot. He quit. Or should I say Bird uh, stepped up and stopped the fight, but I don't see that same type of power from him. Gamboa. It took him a while. I didn't really see the type of power from him. When he's fighting certain guys, I don't see that one shot power. I think he's a skill, accumulation of punishment, wear you down with accurate punching type of fighter. Um, yeah. So, so that's why I rated him a 85 for power. Yeah, and the, the reason why I, I went in there to bring up all his, his, his whole record and all that is because he hasn't went to the distance, stopping all seven guys. You know what I'm saying? Since he's been in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though these guys wasn't, you know, we don't consider these guys top competitions. You know what I'm saying? Like the John Molina Juniors, the Felix Diaz's, and all these guys, the Undongo, the Jeff Hearns, and the Better Vitas, who we know who's coming back from a gunshot. You know what I'm saying? He still was able to get all these guys out of there. So you got to give him some type of credit for that. You know what I mean? Uh, man, listen, I, I gave him an 85 also, just like Caden. For the same reasons. I'm not impressed by him knocking out a mere glass chin con. That doesn't make sense. And when he fought uh, Jose Benavidez, he was fighting a dude with one leg, literally one leg in that ring. So it's like we don't really know how powerful he could be because he's not really fighting elite level competition. So I think 85, honestly, 85 might even be generous because until I see him fight them boys in PBC, that's when I could compare to see how powerful uh, Terrence Crawford really is. I'm defending. I'm defending TC more than you. This is crazy. Yeah, this is kind of wild. Huh? Even even listen, I give him. He made a man con quit though. You know what I'm saying? Power over. Yeah, but I seen people knock a mere con out. Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he made him quit. You know what I'm saying? Even though with the mean machine, he was getting beat up in that fight. He still found a way to finish him too. You know what I'm saying? None of these guys are going the distance with TC. 
You know what I'm saying? Mark, well, I get it. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting these guys that may be questionable, and we can always say, hey, well, this guy had a milkshake before the fight. Well, this guy, this happened, and, <laughs> and this guy, this guy. But he's still not making these guys go the distance. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I gave him the name. It's how they don't go the distance. Like, if you're quitting, that means you're making a choice. Like, people get knocked out. That's not by choice. Like, the way mm -hmm. Khan went out with... And you you know, could beat the heart out of somebody. And that he hits hard enough to do that. But I'm talking about hitting hard enough to knock someone unconscious. Like, I haven't seen him do that. Like mm -hmm. it, it's, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why I haven't. That's why I didn't rank him with Earl and Manny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like knocking someone unconscious is a different ball game. Like mm -hmm. so, but he hits hard enough to to stop you. That, I agree with that 100. percent Um, speed, Ned. What do you what do you give Terrence Crawford? I gave him 96. You know. They, he's he's a fast guy. He got he knows he knows how to move around. He knows how to get his punches out there. I gave TC ninety six. Trill dollar bill. TC speed. What you give him? TC. Um, I don't I don't know if it's so much of TC speed or is it like Danny Garcia? Is it like his timing? You know what I'm saying? He doesn't seem too too fast in there for me, like super out of this world fast. But he he, he he's effective with what he does, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a, a, a sneaky fast, kind of like I said the same thing with Earl. So I gave him a 90. Mm. We need to put that up there as a rating, timing. <laughs> That's an IQ. We can okay. we, we can have like thirty five categories. You <laughs> take forever to rate a fighter. You got <laughs> IQ consist of defense, timing, things of that nature. Like you, what? Like to time someone, you have to have a good IQ. Like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So the only work, the have only good thing IQ. I do say that we should include is physical attributes. Because that has to play a factor for for a yeah. number of fighters that we've mentioned before, like like Usyk, for example. Like, mm -hmm. let's just be real, Usyk's a smaller heavyweight. So that's going to play a factor when he fights the big boys. Mikey Garcia, as talented as Mikey is, he's a smaller welterweight. So that also plays a factor. You get what I'm now saying? We, yeah. But that's, you just know, you just know their physical attributes. Like, I've never seen a rating that factored in someone's size. Listen, no, nah, 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 y'all agree, because I, I, I wanted to put footwork in with speed. I wanted to put, I thought footwork and hands should all go into speed. So, you know, that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely, Um, yeah, I got, I got, I got Crawford definitely as a 90 with speed. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, G? I also got a, a Crawford as a 90 with speed. So, um, I think he's he's not as fast as Pacquiao, but he is faster than Spence. And so, like, he still has elite level speed, but it's not like, oh, lightning to fast speed or stuff like that. Like, he doesn't have that. But similar to what Trill was saying, his timing is so good. And so he still gets to the target. So for that, 90. But hold on, I got I do got a question for Ned. Ned, what did you score Pacquiao for speed? Because you gave Crawford a 96, right? I think I gave Pac-Man a 97 for speed. 97. Yeah. All right, I gave Terrence Crawford a 94. And the reason why I gave him a 94 is, once again, speed is reaction time. See the opening, strike the opening. That's how I determine speed. Um, this this hand speed's a factor, but also your ability to strike the target once you see that it's open. And Terrence Crawford is a very good counter puncher. He's very skilled at finding the openings, hitting the fighters in the proper place. I think his hand speed is fast. Um, I don't think you see him. He doesn't throw combinations all the time. He's more a pot shot until he has someone hurt and he goes in for the finish type of guy. So when someone's throwing single shots, it's hard to see 
their maximum hand speed at times. But I do think he has a uh, very good hand speed. I don't think he's fast as many Pacquiao, but I definitely think that, like, he's one of the fastest Walter Waits out there for sure. All right, 92. Stamina. What do you rate Terrence Crawford's stamina, Ned? At 97, you know, he's, he can go the distance. He can take you out early, and you rarely see him get tired. 97? Yeah. All right, Trill, what do you rate his stamina? Um, you know, Bo Mac, right? Bo Mac, I be listening to Bo Mac, and Bo Mac always be picking on Earl, you know what I'm saying, for uh, partying and drinking and all that. You always see him throwing in slide comments. The problem is I don't see TC declining stamina, you know what I'm saying? To me, I see him declining and was breathing heavy against Calvin Asquez in the fight before that. And he seemed like um, he was gas. He seemed he was gas even against the guy that was shot up like 50 Cent. He seemed like he was <laughs> used a lot of energy in that one, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, listen, so I gave his his stamina a 90. I really pay attention to DC. Like I said, I've been watching him for a while now. G. I actually gave him a 97 just like Ned, you know. Um, like, yeah, he – I see what Trill is saying, but, the again, I, I don't like to compare him from his old self. I like to compare him in comparison to other top-tier welterweights. And his stamina is still up there, bro. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't get tired, like, to the point where you see him like, oh, wow, what's going on? Punch and output is dr drastically declining – or, you know, his mouth is open or, you know, he's making careless mistakes because uh, uh, because of fatigue. He doesn't show those signs. And so he's still, like, he could go 12 rounds easy with the – well, I believe with the, the rest of the elite. So I gave him a 97. Me machine, though. <laughs> oh, I mean, I was, hell, but that was different, though. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this side of fighters, they'll, they'll take it out of you, especially with some body shot. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I gave him a 96. When I watch Terrence Crawford, I see someone whose stamina actually wins him in the fight. I mm -hmm. think he wins as the fight progresses. As his opponent gradually loses stamina, slows down a bit, he's able to stay fresher longer. And so I think that's how he gets guys out of there. Like, even the Mean Machine fought decent with him early. But as yeah. the rounds progressed, he started to fade, and TC still had the stamina, and that's how TC was able to stop him. I think a lot of his stoppages come from the fact that his stamina is better than his opponents. So that's why I, I rated his uh, stamina. And that's a that, – you know, uh, Kaden, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, – I just watched a documentary on CrossFit, right? Like CrossFit in, uh, in Dubai. And that's what separates, like, the best of the best in, in the CrossFit games is literally in the beginning, everyone's, like, performances are similar. But what happens when fatigue kicks in, lactic acid, you know, when your, your muscles are sore, that's when the cream of the crop rise to the top. And Terrence Crawford reminds me of that. He's like a, a, a CrossFit champion. That's great. That's, that's awesome. But this, <laughs> so I, like, I, yeah, I love <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Um, I hate to, I hate to disagree. I, well, I'm not disagreeing with you guys, but I just have a different take on it. You know what I'm saying? And those fights, um, where he, you, y'all saying that it was the stamina that took nah. That's why I was gonna wait, but I think it was a, a it's, it's time for me to mention it now. I think that goes into I, the heart thing. That's why I was giving him the the hundred percent heart because I think when it comes down to it. When he is tired, TC out hearts people. That's how he ends up winning at the end. He out dogs him. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know, stamina does play a part, but I think it comes in where when he's tired, he still finds a way because he out dogs them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that real quick. 
I agree with that, but I still think he has better stamina. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on. We'll move on to the next uh, category, um, which is chin. How do you rate Terrence Crawford's chin, Ned? I give it a ninety-seven because he hasn't stand up to the truth yet. And once he does, it might just get dropped. But, but why ninety-seven though? Because I don't. I don't I'm, not, I'm. I'm not. This is right. it's just yes, reason. It's just like yeah, I'm trying to understand. <laughs> he's not the truth. He's bug. Respect that. Because he's saying that he hasn't been, you know. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't try to. What do you what do you rate his shit, man? <laughs> that's that's a Yo, you on mute, Trill, if you're talking to us. I give Bud a 90. I don't know how that happened. Excuse me. But I give Bud a 90 on the chin. Because I seen, even though I, I didn't see him get clearly put on his butt, but he's been rocked the numerous times. Gamboa, Me Machine, and a couple of others. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm giving his chin a 90. Because I have seen him do the stinky leg a couple of times. I respect that. G. I gave his chin an 88, and <laughs> <laughs> nah, the reason why is because, again, like the mean machine, he 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 he, he could bang, right? He got popped, but I'll be honest with you, man. I haven't seen really like Crawford go up against real elite fighters for me to rank his chin that high. I need to see him go with the top dogs and see if he could take a punch. Can he take a Danny Garcia hook? Can he and that's what Ned was saying. Uh, uh, Earl Spence body shot. Can you I, him, I need that's to... not how Ned was saying it. <laughs> no, that's not how Ned was saying it, but that's what Ned was trying to say. <laughs> now, nah, what Ned's saying is, yo, automatic, 90, whatever, because until he fights. He ain't going up against what? the truth. He ain't going against the truth. Hey, yeah, I respect His that chin ain't been that. tested against one of the big punches. That's what Ned was trying to say. He was agreeing you, with what you were saying, G. Hey, <laughs> I hear y'all, but I, I need to see him face the, the the top dogs in the division for me to really see how durable that chin is. No, nah, I mean, I agree with you guys. So, I gave his chin a 92. So, I think his chin is not questionable because I ha I've seen him rock, but I haven't seen him, like, extremely hurt by lower tier fighters. He got dropped by Cavalosquez and we all know that that should have been counted. But he wasn't like hurt. He went down, but he wasn't wobbly by it. Like Trill said, I have seen him buzzed and rocked by uh you know lower tier fighters like Gamboa and and they're smaller fighters. I think his chin is good enough to hold up against mediocre competition and questionable against elite fighters. That's why I gave him the 92. All right, so fellas, I, I'm, I'm throwing the flag on Ned's 97, though. I think that's too high. And his explanation was elementary at best. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> yeah, I, I, you I, said I, it was your explanation, so... <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't word it. He just didn't word it. He just didn't word it. Word it. He just didn't word it. Word it. Word it. All right, so y'all got to leave me hanging? Yo. <laughs> get y'all. Uh, true. what do you think, man? I, I, I believe I believe that, you know what I'm saying, I agree with, with, with um G's um, argument, and I believe that Ned was trying to make the same argument. He just wasn't as articulate as G was, as making that I point. Think. I think am I am I am I correct in, in in my assessments, Ned? Ned's frozen. frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Ned got that Boost Mobile. <laughs> Yo, Ned muted himself. Oh, no, he on his la he on his laptop. So Ned on that AOL Ned, stuff. You know? Ned, Ned knew he was about to say something dumb, and he muted himself. Yo, so. Here's here's what I'd say. I think Ned's too high. I think G's too low. So I don't care. Like, well, I think Ned's a lot higher than G's low. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm willing to let it rock. I don't. You think he'll balance it out? I mean, I think it's too high. I think it's too people high. in the comment section. You gotta let us know how y'all feel about these rating systems. Please do. Please let us know how you feel. Okay. 
I think uh, get it. Get, am I being too harsh on TC? <laughs> right, they man, they're man. trying to get rid of your score, man. They're trying to get rid of my score, man. Yo, yo, now oh. how's that AOL dial up? You know what I'm saying? No, stop it. Yo, it's the Zoom, the Zoom system keeps crashing for some reason. I don't know what's up with it, man. It's all files over here, man. It's all files. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I'm just going to uh, tally it up. Ugh. That's crazy. He gave a 97, man. It's all right. Y'all let it hate, man. I, it's not even hate. It's just me. I, yo, I respect people's scores as long as they got an explanation behind it. The explanation was just so faulty. I was like, nah. I respect it because it, it, it tallied into what I gave them, so. <laughs> so I think it's fair. <laughs> right, what, what I think it's fair because what Tro gave him a ninety, you gave him an eighty-eight, I gave him a ninety-two. Mm -hmm. It's ninety-two. It's in that range. So that's why I said it didn't so keep him in that range, yo. Yeah. Um, right. Footwork, Terrence Crawford, Ned. What do you got? Uh, I gave his footwork a ninety-six because. You know, he's no, he's no, he's no truth. He's no Pac Man, but he's 96. He's up there. He's elite. He has elite footwork. <laughs> he has elite footwork. 96? Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, man. All right. Um, true. Um, TC, he knows how to move in there. I'm not so impressed. With his 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 feet work, there's a couple of things I think he can uh, feed, but he has he has good footwork. Um, I gave him a ninety. I gave him a ninety. I think that's fair for TC. All right, you got a ninety. All right, G, what do you give him? Yeah, for footwork, I also gave him a ninety. Um, he's a good switch hitter. You know, he could fight southpaw or orthodox and. You know that that that's hard to do. So you know, clearly he has pretty good de uh, uh, footwork to actually accomplish that. So ninety for footwork. All right, I was still mining. I gave him a ninety-two. I think his footwork is obviously above average, um, slightly below elite. So I gave him a 92. I think his footwork is good enough to hang in there with anyone. Um, it's definitely above the average fighter, slightly below the elite fighter. So I think uh, 92 for footwork. Right. Yo, Trill, you got to mute your phone. There's like an echo. Ninety-two for the footwork. You guys just agreeing with me. This is just awesome, man. The average is just agreeing with you, boy. I like this. Salute to Ned. You know. <laughs> Salute to Ned for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hart Crawford. What do you rank his heart? Give it a give it a ninety-five, man. Oh, just you know, stop, man. I, I'm now I'm just, stop. What's your explanation for this? The truth. He has not fought the truth, boy. That's it. That's all that matters. Let's make that fight happen. So I'll just jump in. My rating for him is a 95 on the heart. I'm going to go in. I'm going to just jump in. Y'all know what mine is with him. Mine's is a honey. You know what I'm saying? TC's a dog, yo. For everything that he lacks, man, he makes up with it for his for his heart. He's, he's a dog, man. Like, growing up, right? We had this kid on the block, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Kaden to tell you, you know what I'm saying? When we grew up, there's this kid that we had on the block. We used to call him Pop. He was the smallest little kid, you know what I'm saying? And he had one arm, you know what I'm saying? And he had the most heart, you know what I'm saying? He'll scrap with anybody, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, that's what reminds me of TC. TC is a little skinny, scrawny kid, you know what I'm saying? That would fight to the death, you know what I'm saying? Even though he's 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 outsized and outmatched, you know what I'm saying? That's, TC got a dog in him, you know what I'm saying? He definitely a dog, so I give him a hundred. I just feel like, for me, I'm a very logical person. So if my logic is that Alexander Usyk has heart because 
he was undisputed at cruiserweight and then took on the challenge to move up in weight and fight bigger fighters, then I have to keep that same energy for Terrence Crawford, who was the undisputed 140-pound junior welterweight champion and could have stayed there and dominated those guys but said, no, I'm going to move up in class and challenge people. Now, has he gotten those fights? No. But we can't overlook the fact that there is some obstacles in the way. There's PBC and there's ESPN. Um, They've shown they can work together for Wilder Fury, which is a great thing. Uh, Hopefully, they'll show that they can make this fight happen. But what I can't do is knock a man who's decided to challenge himself, move up in weight. Not only has he moved up in weight, he's called out the fighters. Now, I don't know how true it is because, to me, at some point, you can protest too much. And sometimes I feel like he does too much on Twitter and not enough with his actions. Mm. But the man is in the welterweight division. He says he wants the best fights. He could have easily stayed at 140, picking people off. I got to say that his heart's a 95. And the only reason I'm taking five points away is for the same reason I took five points away from Spence. I don't know who's at fault for this fight not happening. And I feel like perhaps both of them can do more than they're doing to make this fight happen. So, <clears throat> G, hey, y'all, y'all ready? Y'all got y'all, y'all got y'all, um, y'all towels ready? <laughs> Just let y'all know. I gave him an eighty-five for heart, <laughs> and this is and this is this is my reason. <laughs> when his top rank contract expired, he re-signed with top rank knowing that all the elite fighters are across the street. Once you do that, that tells me all of that talk on Twitter is all fake. It's all smoke and mirrors. Because if you really bought that life, you had your opportunity. Your, your contract expired. You could have went to PBC and got it popping with all the big boys. They got, they got Garcia over there. They, they got freaking Pacquiao over there. They, I, think, I believe they had Michael Thurman. Thurman too. They had Thurman. Porter, they had everybody that he's been Man. calling out. And then what he do? Resign the top rank to, to fight no name dudes from from like Eastern Europe. You get what I'm saying? So like to me, I'm like, nah, I gotta deduct major points. So five deduction for for uh not fighting um Spence. You you catch in another five or whatever with me for re-signing with top rank, because that tells me you don't really want it with the PBC boys. At least that's how you I think it was. Do you think – I just got a question. I agree with everything you just said, but I just got a question because some people might have this question or might want to say this in the conversation, defending mm-hmm. TC. Do you think it was diluted decency, him signing with top rank again? You know, I right, this is my conspiracy hat. Because his, his, cause his, his loyalty and besides getting a little bonus – you know what I'm saying? That you know what I'm saying? Again, bonus money. You know what I'm saying? So you do you think it was the loyalty, staying loyal to top? I'll, rank? I'll say this. I don't know. However, because I don't know, I'm still gonna deduct points. Because at the end of the day, all the big boys are across the street. And TC's the one who's saying, Oh, I can't fight them because PBC won't allow it. Well, bro, you had an opportunity to sign the PBC. You should have just did it. So because I, I don't know the, the, the negotiations behind, uh, behind the scenes and behind closed doors, I don't know. The reality is he's not fighting the elite at PBC. Like, if I was an elite-level fighter in the welterweight division, I'm going to the PBC because they got it over there where there's enough guys where you can actually get that shine, get that play. Look at Pacquiao. Pacquiao revitalized his career with the PBC. You get what I'm saying? So it's like... TC, you can do the very same thing. Like, why is TC fighting on, like, ESPN Plus when he could be a pay-per-view star right now? You know, like, imagine TC fighting Pacquiao. People would love to see that fight, but it's not happening. I totally, I totally agree with you. I was just playing devil's advocate. You oh, know what, T, I'm not going to lie. It's like the first time, like, you swayed me with an argument, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You you see what it was funny? I I can't argue argue with that, yo. I can't argue with that. If you wanted them bad enough, you could have signed and you would have got every single one of those guys. They all on PBC. All you had to do was just sign with PBC. Exactly. You could have fought all those guys. So Exactly. Hold on, fellas. Let's get a moment of silence real quick. I got to soak this in. Because me and Katie, we go at it all the time. And I've never heard of <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I 
don't I don't come at you just to come at you. I just genuinely disagree. I I can't disagree with that. <laughs> this is rare. This is rare right here. You know. Yo, G yeah. G act like he say something. I'm like, well then I'm the other way then. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I respect it, yo. That I mean, I, I can't throw a flag on that. That's that's legitimate reasons to dock points, in my opinion. So I'm not challenging it. I don't know if anybody else wants to. It's like it is what it is, yo. <laughs> hey man, I respect it though. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that right now. <laughs> uh, ever since ever since that Pacquiao power score. He ain't never been the same. Yeah, he hasn't recovered. <laughs> he he off of he this, hasn't recovered from that shot on the chin. <laughs> Yo, he he knows what's coming for him. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know where to, where to score at at this point. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh. man, yo, Ned. Uh, uh, boxing it, IQ. Man. Boxing IQ for uh, Terrence Crawford. Ned? I give him a 95 for his IQ, yo. He's a pretty small fighter. He knows... How to decipher his fighters, and when he's in there in the ring, he may look like some fights are not impressive. You may not be impressed with some of his fights, but he still knocks out. If he didn't knock out American or a Benavidez, people would have been saying, "Oh, he's not that." They would have been doubting his skills. But he did what he was supposed to do. He does what he's supposed to do, supposed to do in certain fights, and when he has a tough fight, he still pulls out the win. So I give us the box of ninety five. Real dollar bill, what you got? <laughs> People gonna be mad at this one, all right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody says, you know, everybody agrees with my scores for the most part, but they gonna, they not gonna agree with this one. I gave him an 85 on the IQ. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain why I gave him an 85 <laughs> on the IQ. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it. I, I respect it. First time that happened. <laughs> Please let me explain. <laughs> the reason why, right, is because I have to go right back to the heart thing. I think that his heart overdoes his better judgment sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he can he can be boxing in a fight, you know what I'm saying, and he makes a fight tougher than what it has to be. I keep thinking of the Gamboa fight. Like he made that. He could have he had the longer arms and he had the distance. He he wanted to go in there and trade with him. Sometimes he wants to go in there and make fights tougher than what they gotta be. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's his heart that takes over his uh better judgment. So with with that, and I think that that's that is gonna end up costing TC. TC is a great fighter, but I think that part of his IQ, you know what I'm saying? Because we all know he knows how to he knows when to to, to go southpaw and when to go uh, uh, the regular, we know, we know, we know he knows how to do this. You know what I'm saying? But once he gets hot and heated in there, it seems like he throws everything out the window and he just tries to outdog the person. And sometimes that can that that, that leads to him getting caught. Like he got led, led to him getting caught by the meat machine. So that's why I'm giving him an 85. Please do not kill me in the comments section. <laughs> all right, all right, G. Yo, Trill, man, I salute that, man. Right, you no, know, my you. number wasn't as low. I have him at an 88. You know what I mean? Okay. But I respect everything you said. Mm -hmm. TC is technically sound. He's a good counter fighter. He can lead with both the left hand and the right hand. And he utilizes like various angles, right? When he's throwing punches. But this is where I have to deduct points. I don't know how he will uh perform against another elite fighter. Like, like I see him doing great with the, the competition the level of opposition that he's fighting now, but that's cool. But what happens when you're going against the big boys? Does does your IQ allow you to just mid-range in the fight? Like let's say round six, you lose on all, every like on every score card, you're like down. You know what I mean? And you're realizing like, hey, this style isn't working for me. Can I adjust? And I agree with what Trill's saying. You see that with um with TC. He has a tendency to fight with his emotions and not with logic. And so that could cost him, especially with, like, big fights. So, like, what if Earl Spence, him and Earl Spence get into an actual fight? And this could go – this actually also affects uh, Spence. They're both emotional, right? If enough people was like, man, you can't box or da-da-da, they're both going to be like, all right, then I'm going to box. But if another person goes, man, you can't throw punches, they're going to try to swing for the fences, right? But that could cost both men. And so because of that, I had to deduct points on TC, so I gave him an 88. 
All right, so I'll just write my score and then I'll give my explanation. You guys might want to throw the towel in on this. <laughs> it all depends oh. on the explanation, though. It depends on the explanation. The reason why I give Terrence Crawford a 100 is, for starters, we've seen many people who switch up and go southpaw. But Terrence Crawford may be the best at fighting both both sides. Like, he can fight just as well from the left side as he can fight from the right side. And that's not easy. If you look at uh, throwing punches, even if you're just holding the mitts and you switch to the southpaw, it's very difficult. To be able to throw punches from the southpaw and then be able to fight from the southpaw as well as you can from the left side, that takes high boxing IQ. And that takes, uh, you know, a lot of intelligence. Then in the ring, he does imply it. He does apply it. He, he'll, 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 he'll switch southpaw at the right time. He'll go to left feet at the right time. And so he does make adjustments on the fly. And when I see him, and I think uh, he's intelligent, I think he does control distance well. I'll give Trill this. He does get emotional, and he does do things that aren't in his best interest, like in the Cavalosquez fight. I could tell, like, as soon as he went down, he was like, oh, he's dead. I don't care. I'm going to slugfest with him. It doesn't matter. And I've seen him get in that mode, like with Gamboa. Gamboa got him. He's going to go get one back. If you get TC... He's trying to go get one back. So I do understand um, deducting points for that, but I don't think it's because he doesn't realize it's not the best thing to do. I just think it's the dog in him, like you said. But I do think he knows it's not the best thing to do, but he's like the dog in me. But as far as, like, boxing goals, skill, IQ, ability, all that stuff, I think I think he's up there. I think he might be one of the sharpest. So uh, that's why I gave him a 100. Yeah, I'm not mad at the 100. To be honest with you, I view it differently, but I could, your explanation makes sense. Great explanation. Give him a 95. I think, I think, I think to me, out of all the fighters that I've seen, like, he's probably, he's probably the sharpest. Like, I, I'm not, it doesn't mean he's the best. I don't, like, I wouldn't say that, but as far as ability goes, skill, can implement all types of plans. I don't think there's a fighter out there who can implement more plans than TC can. Like the strategies you can come up with for TC, mm -hmm. the way you can go into a fight, who can? I don't think there's a fighter out there who can do it more than TC. But like I said, I, I got him at 100. You guys can. Oh, man, man. Katie, man, let's cut the crap. Who you got, TC or Spence? I go Spence. But that's oh, wow. not about ability. You would have said TC, blah. You know what no, I mean? I, I was talking, <laughs> but to me, that's not – this is assuming Juan Spence is the guy we saw before the accident. Big exactly. One no, I was just joking. Spence, I was just joking anyway. Spence, Spence skills are up there as well, and he's bigger. So, you know, it's – but Terrence Crawford is very skilled. But that size advantage and the skills that Spence got, I think, is going to be too much. But I still think TC is a great fighter. So, yeah, definitely. Dope. Okay. Right. You guys, all right, so we're letting it rock. All right. That brings it to. I mean, I'll let y'all rock if y'all let me rock. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> <What the? laughs> Yo, Ned, you a fool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, TC score looking pretty good. Yeah. Hey. Accurate to me. Mm -hmm. I'll have to be a 90. 91. 92. It's not bad. Yeah, I salute it. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Before I salute it, what would we give us, Spence? Uh... He was a 94 overall. Spence was a 94. I salute it. I salute it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right. So we got Pacquiao, 95. Spence, 94. And TC, 92. Makes sense to me. It seems like it's good to me. <laughs> so far, so good. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, check out our podcast on all major streaming services. Don't forget, check out the links in the description box. And check us out in the comment section. Please leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Whether you agree with us or not. This is the Boxing Bros. All right.
Yeah.